Hello, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. This evening, I'm gonna clean out the flower bed. And so I didn't get all the flowers that I wanted, but I overplanted my flower bed because I wanted so many flowers. And at this point, it just looks somewhat of a mess. I grabbed some mums today from Lowe's and I grabbed some uh, snapdragons from Lowe's because I didn't start those. And the ones that I had from last spring, uh, yeah, like spring 2021, they have died. And so I brought some more because I want them for another year. And so I'm gonna clean that out. I'm also going to attempt to uh, use my comfrey fertilizer. <laughs> so I've, I've used it before, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't using it right um, because they're supposed to be like a one to 16 ratio, something like that. So I'm gonna try that tonight and I'm going to fertilize my vegetables that are in the garden bed. Um, and I am also tonight going to pull my cherry tomatoes. Um, yeah, they're done. They're still producing. They're producing really small tomatoes and I'm at this point just giving them to the chickens. Um, and I know they would enjoy that. I have all of these green lush vegetables growing and so they can have some of those. <laughs> so these are the kind of tomatoes that are being produced right now. Um, they're not getting much bigger and it's literally almost fall. Next week is the first day of fall. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out tonight. Um, they don't look horrible. They don't look like really bad but i think i'm also kind of ready for summer to kind of go away if i'm honest so we're gonna pull these out by the way i have gotten a few things in my p.o box um i got some fertilizer in the p.o box so to the person who sent that to me i very much appreciate it i actually wanted to try that fertilizer so pretty awesome that someone sent it to me so i appreciate that um, I received, what else? Um, I've gotten a really nice teapot. Um, it's a clear teapot. I had it on my Amazon wish list and someone sent that to me as well. So thank you very much for those things. Um, very happy to have them. I think I've already said thank you for the uh, Dutch oven, but in case I haven't, because I'm totally off kilter at this point. Um, I haven't been, I don't think I posted a video I thought I saw a horn, hornworm. <laughs> I don't think I posted a video in over a week. I think the last time I posted a video was Wednesday before last. Um, so trying to get back on track with that. But someone did send me a Dutch oven and I really, really appreciate that. So uh, cutting this out, I'm just cutting the yarn that hasn't already broken to detach it from the trellis because that's another thing that I guess I'm struggling with. Um, when spring starts, I can't wait to get my trellises up. Close to fall, I can't wait to get them down. I just wanna be able to like look over the garden. <laughs> so I'm just cutting it at the end. I have some scissors because my shears broke. Um, I'm just cutting it right at the, uh, at the base. I'm gonna let the roots die back on their own and feed the soil. Um, so I've already started planting at the bottom of this bed though. If you do have a small space, you absolutely can still transition over to fall with summer things still in the garden. And so that's pretty cool. Have you started planting for fall? I know I asked that question before. Um, or are you even gonna plant for fall? Because not everybody does a fall garden. In like really cold temperatures, I can totally understand that. I've watched some videos where people like go through, go to great lengths <laughs> to plant in fall. And as much as I love gardening, I probably wouldn't do it. <laughs> I hate the cold weather. Oh, super excited about that. I'm gonna give the ripe-ish tomatoes to the chickens. They can have a little treat tonight. So I don't put my tomatoes in the compost pile. That's just a personal choice. I have seen where people do put their tomatoes in the um, compost pile, but because I have a small compost pile and it's like literally the only place I can make compost, I don't want to put a disease into the compost pile. And so I don't, I'm not saying that you should or you shouldn't. I'm gonna get this last steak out. <laughs> okay, so we may not get to the fertilizing tonight. I am losing sun but I'm going to move on to the flowers behind me. So those are all dahlias, they're zinnias. Um, again, like I said, I overplanted. So um, I was thinking like, you know how you see these big bushy flower beds on YouTube and you're like, I want that. Um, and so I think it's more of the plant is healthy and it is branching out, not so much that they planted their plants closed. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna pull these out. So I'm gonna show you the dahlias because you can save the dahlia tubers. I personally have never grown a dahlia from a tuber. Um, I always grow my dahlias from seed. It's just the way that I started and the way that I do it. But I'm still gonna show you all um, the dahlia tubers. And so if I was keeping these tubers, I would want, according to my research, I would want to let these plants die out. The more sun that the foliage gets, the more energy that it sends to the tuber to use to grow next year. But I'm not gonna save these tubers. Well, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna save them. I may save them and maybe plant one and see if you know the plant is any different from a plant that I grow from seed. So I'm not gonna say I won't save them, but I'm gonna show you really quick, hold on. So these are dahlia tubers and these came from one seed. That's a dahlia tuber. You can let it dry out and then you can plant it next year. Uh, like I said, I may save a few. You would want to, from what I think I read, is put it into maybe some um, moist uh pine chips or something that's moist and keep it in a dark place over the off season and then you could plant these again next year and so for the perennial things that i'm growing i'm not going to pull those out i'm going to clip them also with the dahlias if you live in a warm enough place you can mulch them and then just leave them in the ground i haven't done that either but i know that you can if you live in a place that has a mild winter and I know you may be wondering, these plants will go through fall. Um, I am pulling them out because fall also gets cold, in my opinion. I don't like the cold, so I don't want to have to be out here in the cold pulling these things out. Um, I just don't want to do it, and so that's why I'm doing it early. Um, so. Dahlias will grow through fall, zinnias will also grow through fall. So if you have them, don't pull them because I am or anything like that. Um, I'm doing it for my own personal reasons. <laughs> Look at that pretty little sunflower. Better look at tubers. That's what they look like. And so each one of these will make a plant next year if I were to keep them. I'm thinking more and more that I might keep them. <laughs> and you may wanna actually dry them on the stem and then pull them off. Again, I don't know, but I do want people to know that it's an option. I just never did it before. Those are some nice ones. Look at those. I love them. See, this is how I end up trying new things. I gotta keep those. Like who wouldn't keep those? Those, they look so good. And so now I'm going to throw some compost on here, feed the bed a little bit, water it down really good. And then I'm gonna plant as much as I can before the sun goes down. <laughs> I dumped a few bags off camera because I'm losing light um, and I'm probably not gonna get to plant on camera tonight, but I do wanna show you what I got. So I got some pretty yellow moms. Moms get huge. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some of them in here. Then I'm gonna plant some in pots and put them on my front porch uh, to decorate for fall. So I got some pretty yellow ones. I got this color, which um, it is chrysanthemum, red mom is what it says. Very nice. I got a very orange one too, and I like that. So this one was looking really dead at the store. And I was like, I think if I go home and water, it'll be fine. And it is so happy, it's very pretty. And then I got a bunch of snapdragons. I got three of these pots, but these pots have like seven or eight plants in them. So for $7.98, I got seven or eight plants. So that is pretty cool. And so it's nothing wrong with buying starts. I will, I definitely will buy them. So my plan is there's pansies in the front. I got those from my um, local feed and seed store. I had planted out some calendula a little while ago that I started myself. So my plan is snapdragons um, at the end in the middle and at the other end. And then I'm gonna throw mums in in the middle. And that's gonna be my fall um, flower bed. And I think it will be 
beautiful. I'm losing light and um, you can hear the nature noises. It's about to get loud on this camera. And so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. But before I do, I wanna show you my one sweet potato that I could see, but the sweet potato that is literally giving me faith that I'm gonna grow, that I have grown sweet potatoes this year. Look at it, y'all. I'm so excited. I am growing sweet potatoes. <laughs> so I'm hopeful that there is way more where that one came from. Anyway, thanks for watching. Everyone have a wonderful week. If you'd like, please go visit me over on Instagram at Miss Asia Spratley. Have a wonderful day. Bye.